Good afternoon, Facebook family. Social media family. Hope your morning, your day is going well. And I hope that every goal that you have set after listening to these videos, that you are trying to implement the steps that you have determined that will be the best course for your life. I want to take this moment to kind of segue away from what I've been talking about normally and just try to talk a little bit about finances. Now, I'm not an expert at finances. I just want to admit that. But what I've learned over the course of my life about finances is if you're an entrepreneur, it takes a lot of investment to get your business off the ground. Most of the time, you have to start from nothing. You have to start with your own resources until you can build up your clientele list and that you can have enough confidence and that they can have enough confidence in the product that you're displaying that they believe in what you're presenting to them and that you really know your products and your services. Other times you might be an entrepreneur and you may have to work, you may have to save money and take that money from your job and invest that into your business or invest it into what you think your future business may be. But let's just say if you're not doing any of that and let's just say you have a plain, ordinary, run-of-the-mill job or career. In the beginning when you took that job that you now consider to be a mediocre position, you was highly enthusiastic about it. What caused you to lose the enthusiasm? Maybe it's not what you feel you need to do, but you find yourself doing it for an extended period of time. And when you look at your finances, you discover that you have more debt than you have anything. Well, the one simple rule I can tell you is that I read a book about Think and Grow Rich, and even before I read Think and Grow Rich, I learned that Whenever you get paid, you have to give yourself some of what you make. Dr. Hill, when I read the book, he said you need to at least do 10%. And Antonio T. Smith Jr. teaches the same thing. You have to give yourself a percentage of what you make. And it's not necessary for you to feel good or bad about it. It's just the fact that you took a job that you normally, that you really loved, but now you don't have anything to show for because everything is in expenses. So my goal to you today is just try to reach out or reach in your neural network and reprogram it and say, starting today, I'm going to save at least 10%. And Dr. Hill went a little a step further. He said, even if it's not 10%, just put something away to make sure that you're paying yourself for all the services that you're rendering to the organization that you make. And that's perfectly fine. And then what I can kind of challenge you with is when you do that, what you begin to see is that you owe yourself that. Now, you're going to have debt for as long as you live unless you're totally debt-free. And if you're debt-free, then you're going to be in an ideal situation to save and invest in your business. But if not, you owe yourself this because you're getting up eight hours a day and you are going to work for a company that you love or organization that you love. And you really feel good about what you're doing for them. But when you get paid and all your money is going on in expenses, then when you really want to do that, you just want to get to the point to where you're able to take a trip if you want to. You're able to get up and if you want to do something for your family or do something for somebody else, you got that stored income for that. And I'm saying you don't even have to use it for business. It's just like Susan Orman says for a rainy day fund. Like all your bills are paid and then that's something you want to do. Okay, I remember that I got this saving. I want you to save it and not touch it. But if you have to touch it, it should feel good to you knowing that you put away this 10% for these rainy days. And if you decide to know that you're saving enough, then you put more in. And Tony Robbins takes it a step further. He says that whenever you work and you get a pay increase, he said that you're already doing fine with the money that you make currently. But when they pay you $100 more a week, then there's no need for you to take that money and raise your expenses by $100. You just take that, forget about it, and have it automatically go to the savings of your choice. Then that way, the same amount of money that you had the year before, that's what you'll be raising yourself off of again. And if you were paying all your bills successfully with that, then that extra $100 a week is going to the side. Plus what you've already allocated for the 10% anyway. So the thing about the finances that we find ourselves with when we're doing extremely well, a lot of times our expenses equal our income and then we have no savings. 
And then if you decide to invest in a business, if all of your money is in expenses and not in savings and then you don't have any investments, then as you get older, you kind of see yourself not having as much as you once wanted. And me, with my finances, I try to do the same thing. And I will admit, sometimes it's difficult. But you have to be able to give yourself something for all the work that you put in, for anybody that you work for. Even when you work for yourself, Gary V said when he worked in his father's business, he didn't take any income when he was young. As a matter of fact, he put it back into the business. And when he finally took over, he came up with ideas to help generate more income in the winery business that his family was in. But you have to think about what it takes for you to do that. Every day of your life, when you get up every morning, you got to think about how can I save more? If I save more and I make more, what can I do to invest to keep the keep some of the money um, in, in-house rather than have everything going out? So that's just a brief message today about income. Hope you find it helpful. If you like these videos that I'm discussing with you, like them and share them with people around you. And hopefully everybody will be better and have a great day. Thank you.